Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making a remake of Mermaid Kisses and I'm going to just use three colors. I've been waiting to use this New Leaf Mica from Nurture Soap. I'm going to have that as my base color so I hope it stays true to the color. I also have this Brandius Blue Mica and I have sea green mica from they're all from nurture soap i have not used any of them yet and i have a little bit of white and i'm going to pipe on the top um i'll show you when i get to that point but those are the four colors i'm using i already have my clay mixed in here so i'm just adding my lye solution it helps if you kind of pour it down your stick blender so you don't get a lot of air bubbles. Pour it slowly. Now I do know that this fragrance, because I've made it so many times, is definitely a ricer. So um, if you don't know what that means, it just means it uh, reacts with the oils and the lye and it kind of gets like a chunky appearance, but you can use your stick blender and you can stick blend it out usually. But of course doing that, you are thickening your soap batter because you have to stick blend a little bit more, which is fine because I'm going to be piping anyways and I don't mind if it's a little thicker so I will probably add the color at the same time I add the fragrance so that I kind of skip one hopefully one of the stick blending now I need enough of the two extra colors to pipe So this small one's just going to be white. I'm not saving any white for the top.
put the three colors into piping bags and I don't have a tip on the end I just have the coupler because I want to use the circle I'm hoping that this little notch in it doesn't make too much of a difference um, I had what I thought was extra piping so I went ahead and put it in here and I'm just gonna kind of blend it all together because it's really just too thick to swirl or anything. And usually people ask me all the time how I know how long before I can pipe. And it is different with every batch. It's going to depend on how fast the fragrance sets up your soap. Sometimes I have to rush so I can pipe right away. Like right now this is thick. And other times I like to do my dishes and I can, sometimes I've had to wait a couple of hours before I can pipe. So every batch is really different. Welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and split this 
Mermaid Lagoon into logs. And the colors are much prettier today than they were yesterday. Um, I will admit I was a little bit disappointed with the colors and I should have known better because this fragrance, I've made it so many times and even though you stick blend, you know, the ricing out of it, it still has a, not a really smooth consistency like my normal soap does. So I should have known uh, with the piping that it wouldn't turn out exactly like I hoped. It's hard to explain. I mean, it's the exact same recipe and everything, and there's the inside. But it just didn't have the consistency for piping that I normally like. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Let me zoom in too a little bit. Okay. Hopefully the swirls will be pretty because I was bummed with the top, but the green actually turned out much prettier today that I think it's new leaf it's called it kind of was a funny green I added a little bit to it and I don't really think that made much of a difference I think that it would have turned back to the color that it was supposed to be anyway I'm gonna cut these bars a little bit chunkier because I did end up with a little bit of leftover soap so they're not quite as high as normal. So I'm going to cut them just a tiny bit chunkier. I'm excited today. I am, I have these pouches. I should have brought one to show you guys, but I had gotten them, I think at nature's garden quite a while ago. And they're just, they're about that big. And they are a clear pouch with little, like a little um, cream colored sponge, a round sponge in them. And I've had them forever, a big box of them, because I think Nature's Garden had them for like 50 cents each or something. And so the girls and I today are going to put soap in each one of those and... There's a local place, actually it's where my husband and I got married, uh, that is collecting items for the hurricane um, to send to Texas for Hurricane Harvey for the people that were uh, involved in that. And they're, they're in need of toiletries and clothing and whatever you can donate. And so I'm going to put a bar of soap in each of these bags. I think I have like 50 of them and take them and drop them off there. And there's a tractor trailer load of stuff going, um, I think Tuesday. So I gotta get those ready. And last one. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I will see you on the next video.